What's going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change your eye color in Final Cut Pro 10 without using any plugins or third-party applications. You can do this all in Final Cut Pro 10 and it's really easy, so I really hope you guys find this video helpful. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this right here, from going from brown eyes, whether you have blue eyes, brown eyes, red eyes, I hope you don't have red eyes, black eyes, and so on. So I'm going to show you how to do this to that and it's really easy, it's really simple. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna delete the video here and I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch. So this is the original video here and you can see that it has a watermark. <clears throat> I didn't wanna pay uh, $200 for this video. So I just wanted to, you know, download a sample video from Video Blocks. Video is not sponsored. Have your video in the timeline and you wanna go into the inspector window, which is this right here. And then you wanna go into the color inspector, which is gonna look like this. If you have the newer version of Final Cut Pro 10, I'm using 10.4.4, then this is gonna work for you. Um, this works for you either way if you, have, if you have an older version of Final Cut Pro 10. I think it's 10.4 or older, then this should still work for you. The tools will be in different locations. But for the most part, if you're running an older version, then it's gonna look like this. You just go straight to the color, uh, color board. If you're on a newer version, you wanna click this little triangle button to go into the uh, color corrections tab. And then you wanna click where it says no corrections, click the down arrow, and here you're gonna have different options. You're going to have color board, color wheels, color curves, hue, and saturation curves. What I want you to do is you want to go onto color board, which is what you're going to have if you're running an older version. It's going to take you straight to this, which is perfect. Once you're at this point, you want to click this little down arrow and you want to go to masks. And we're going to pretty much add a mask, a color mask and a shape mask. So we're going to go onto color. So click add color. And we want to sample his eye color, which is brown. Now, when we do this, it's also going to probably mask out or not mask out, but it's probably going to sample his beard, his mustache, and his eyebrows. And we want to mask his eye color. So I want to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to go to 200%. I'm going to click and drag with the left uh, mouse. So just click and drag. And you want to select something like, I don't know, something like this. Okay, you don't want to do too much where you start selecting his, his, his skin color. If you do something like this, then you're doing something wrong. So what pretty much happens is the white is not being selected and anything darker, like the shadows, in this case, you see the browns, then that is what's gonna be selected. So we wanna select most of his eye color like this. Well, something like this, eh, a little bit less. Yeah, something like that. Now we selected a little bit more brown on the left eye than on the right eye. So what you can do is you can hold down shift and there's going to be a little plus icon next to the eyedropper tool. All you need to do is click and drag and do the same thing and just select it again. This will select the brown in his eye and that's what you want to do. Now once you're at this point, you can pretty much adjust his eye color. Now if you go into the master, this is also going to adjust his beard, his his mustache, his nostril, <laughs> for some reason, his eyebrows. So we don't wanna do that. So this is where the shape mask comes in handy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the down arrow, we're gonna go onto masks, and we're gonna click add shape. This is gonna add a shape mask. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. So this is the shape mask. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what, how this works. So I'm gonna move this down, and I, if, I, if I adjust this, you can see that it's moving along with the mask, okay? So that's just how it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this so that it's centered within his eye. So I'm gonna zoom in. Well, first I'm gonna make this smaller. So the green little circles allow you to change the shape of the circle. Whereas this allows you to change the, I guess the shape of this. So you can make it circle or you can make this a flat out square if you want. I'm gonna make it a circle because obviously his, his eyes is, is round. So we're gonna move that and kind of adjust it to his eye shape. So you can adjust this horizontally and you can adjust this vertically. The inner red circle allows you to change pretty much the whole size of this, okay? The outer red circle allows you to change the featherness, which means it's how smooth the edges are. If we bring it closer, it's gonna be more of a harsher edge. If we bring it outward, it's gonna be more of a smoother edge. We wanna make this around, I don't know, around here. So now I'm gonna go into the size here and in, into the zoom window. I'm gonna go to 200% and I'm gonna move this down so that it fits within his eye, okay? So I'm gonna move the green circles so that it fits within his eye and then we're gonna drag the outer red circle inwards just a tad. We don't want it to go like this because that's gonna be a little bit difficult. So just do something like this, okay? And don't be shy, zoom in a little bit. 400% is totally okay because you wanna get uh, close to his eye. So we're gonna 
kind of move this around here. Now if we go and we change the, the shadows here in the master, you can adjust this color. We don't want to change the master, adjust the shadows. So we're going to adjust the shadows a bit. So I'm going to move the shadows up around here now that obviously looks unrealistic so right now i'm just going to move this to the eye color that i want so you can do like red if you want someone i don't know why you want red but you can do red if you want i'm going to do blue okay and i'm going to do some something like that and then i'm going to move the mid tones here i'm just going to leave it how it is to be honest i'm just going to go to the saturation tab here and you can adjust the strength of the color pretty much so the shadows you can make this really blue or pretty dark if you want um, in this case, I just go to highlights and bring them, up, bring them up a little bit more because your eyes tend to be very glossy, okay? So very reflective, so it wouldn't make sense for them to be a little dull, so we want to increase the highlights to give it a little bit of more of that reflective reflective color, if that makes sense. So I'm going to leave everything how it is. Um, so that's the, sorry, that's in the saturation though, but we're going to do the same thing in exposure. We're going to bring this up a little bit. We don't, we don't want to bring this up so much that his eye turns white. Or we don't want to bring this down so his eyes are black, like he's possessed or something. So we're going to move this up a little bit. So something like this. We're going to bring down the midtones if you want, because like I said, you want to, you don't want you want this to be realistic. So we're going to bring this down a little bit. And then the shadows, um, let's see, I guess the shadows can be left like that. So now if we go back, this is the before and this is the after here. And you can see we have some of his eyelashes. Uh, being selected. So if I go back and I zoom in on here, I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible for you guys so you guys don't uh, get bored. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit and I'm going to move this down. So now if I go back, you can see that there's it's only affecting his eye. Perfect. So that's what you want to do. So once you're at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the color board and then we're going to go into the mask here. So we have the shape mask, okay, and then we have the color mask. Add keyframes so that it follows his eye movement because you can see it's not following his eye movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the time head, this, to the beginning. We're going to go into this little plus icon in the mask here next to the shape mask one. You're going to add another shape mask for this eye here, and I'll show you that in just a second. So click this little plus icon and then move. I would say this would be about 30 seconds as you can see because we're working with a a 30 frame uh, timeline, so that's every one second. So we're gonna move within each of these where you can do every other two. Um, I'm just gonna do every every one second. So I'm gonna move this here, I'm gonna drag this down. This allows us to make it so it's a lot smoother uh, in terms of the key framing, okay? And it's a lot easier. So like I said, there is a lot of movement in your video. This might take a long time, but if you have something like this where it's in slow motion, your video will, well, in terms of editing, it will be a lot faster, as you can see. So I'm just moving this to his eye. I'm going to move a little bit. So you can see that he starts to tilt his head. So we want to rotate this. So I'm going to move this into his position. And we're going to rotate this by clicking this little outer circle. And this allows you to rotate this. So I'm going to rotate it so it kind of follows his eye a little bit. And then we're going to move this back to here, another 30 frames. And drag this like that. And I'm almost done here. Sweet. So now if we go back and we kind of click off of it, you're going to see how this looks like. So I'm going to go back to fit. So this is with one shape mask keyframed to his eye position, as you can see here. And it looks fantastic. It looks really good. Or it looks realistic. I mean, his eye color is still really blue, but I mean, hey, I don't have blue eyes, so I can't really tell. But um, anyways, as you can see, that's what we want to do for the other shape mask. So to do the other eye, all you have to do is do that again. So go to the down arrow next to the color board one, go down to masks, go to add a shape. And you want to do this again with his right eye or technically his left eye, but you want to move this back to, a, to the, you know, to pretty much select his eye here. And I'm going to go into back to about 200% here. I'm going to move this around there. I'm going to move the green one and then the outer red circle. I'm going to move this down. So you have to move the outer red circle because you will get some of his uh, eyebrows here. So I'm going to move this down. Ah, perfect. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that again. So we're going to click this plus icon to add a keyframe on shape mask two and just do the same thing. So at one second, move this back here and do the same thing for every 30 frames. So every 30 frames or every other second. So we're at three seconds, click and drag. We're at four seconds, click and drag. And you're just doing that for every 30 frames, okay? So like that, perfect. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna push play 
And this is what it's gonna look like once you guys are finished with your keyframing. And you can still adjust the eye color, by the way, if you, if you wanna do that, you can do something like, maybe you want him to have green eyes. You totally can. I don't really know how realistic green eyes look. I don't know, like, yeah, most people have green eyes like that, right? I don't know, but you can still change the eye color here in the color board. Uh, just make sure you adjust the shadows and not the master so it looks a little more realistic. And if we go into exposure and we're bringing up the highlight a little bit more, you can, you know, you can do that, but it will wash out his eyes a little bit. Anyways, you can see how that works and it looks super cool. And you can do this for any video if you guys want. So if you guys found this video helpful and easy, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification. Peace.